Hi there. This is Larry coming to you with another Christ United Methodist Church video devotion. Who, you know, Christmas is over. Yes, it is. And I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. I hope you did. But you know, sometimes you get a little tired. I know I am. And so it's an opportunity for us to rest and relax in that week between Christmas and New Year's. It's convenient that it falls that way on the calendar, isn't it? Yeah, it gives you a chance to rest, relax. Also an opportunity to reflect. Think about this past year and the coming new year. Yes, God's grace gives us the opportunity to make things right from the last year if there were some problems. And his grace gives us strength and courage to mount to greater heights in the coming year. Yep, the coming year. Now you may be saying right now, I'm so tired. I can't think about the coming year. Well, you know, whether you're tired or not, 2022 is going to be here in a few days. It's coming, whether you're ready or not. So it's really important that we be ready. Have the right attitude. Be thinking about what's coming. A new year full of possibilities, full of opportunities for service. What a wonderful, wonderful thing that we have looking us right in the face coming in this new year 2022 will offer us challenges too but not challenges you can't overcome with God's help and I know what you're thinking you may be saying oh my gosh I'm so tired I can't think about the coming year but yeah you're probably tired but you know we can all find rest yes rest. Jesus said, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you will find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The job that God calls us to in 2022 will require some effort on our part. It'll require some work, maybe some burdens. But Jesus promised us that he will make our yoke easy and our burdens light. And we can find rest unto our souls in him. That's a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. So I hope that you can take advantage of that. And I hope that as you look forward to 2022, that you find in it peace, satisfaction, and renewed strength for greater service. And at this time next year, you'll be able to look back on 2022 and say, it was a good year. And I think that's only going to be possible if we stay close to Jesus. So I hope you do. And I hope that 2022 is a good year for you. Now, speaking of 2022, I want to mention that in 2022, in January, we're going to make a little bit of a change with our men's breakfast. Normally held the first Saturday of every month, and that's where it will be throughout the coming year, but not the first Saturday of the month of the first month of the new year. January 1 is the first Saturday of the month, and we're not going to have it on New Year's Day. So we're going to have the men's breakfast on January the 8th. Now, we always meet at our church in the basement. That's Christ United Methodist Church at 8.30 on the first Saturday of the month normally, but this Saturday, this time it will be the 8th. Um, but we meet at 8.30. 
we have breakfast, we have some fellowship and a devotion, and we're always done by 10 o'clock, guaranteed, always done by 10, so you can get out and get some things done. But this Saturday, the 8th, when we have our men's breakfast, we'll probably end just a little bit early because any of you who can stay, I would like you to maybe help take down the nativity set in front of the uh, in front of the church. So uh, I hope to see you there on the 8th. Hope to see you there at the church for the men's breakfast, 8.30 on January the 8th. And hopefully you'll have a good head start on the new year by then. And we'll look forward to a wonderful 2022, all of us together. So, God bless you, and until we see you again, Happy New Year. Now, get some rest. Bye now.